we need to talk, okay? This is serious. This is an issue. This needs to be handled with care and this needs to ha be handled quickly, okay? This is serious. This is very serious. Now, I know after the past couple of years, we have gone through a lot, okay? We've seen protests, riots, raids, shutdowns, lockdowns, up, down, sideways, down. It's been a lot. But I don't think people are really looking into the actual issue. The real issue as to why all this is going on. And I have a theory to propose to you today. Okay, this is serious. This is a very serious matter. Okay, this, this is very serious. That's all I have to say. Now, I think the issue that has fallen all of us, the thing that is tearing us apart, humanity, okay? Natural disasters, earthquakes, okay? Is sand hill cranes. Yes, I said that. Sand hill cranes. Those little beady little, mm. we'll get into it though. So stay tuned and I'll explain to you why sand hill cranes are the worst creatures to ever exist. Okay, so before I start off, this is not wine, YouTube. This is pineapple juice. Mind your business. Number two, I'm wearing my bonnet. I know in the past, okay, bonnets have uh, bothered some people. So if you don't like bonnets, click off, all right? So, I did say sandhill cranes. I did. And if you don't know what a sandhill crane is, they're about like this big, kind of long, weird looking things. They have, you know, they're about like this heavy, you know, um, and they got a knife sword thing on their face. And you probably know them, they have like, like a red, like they have like red, beady little eyes okay beady little eyes so now you probably know what i'm talking about so <sighs> these animals are the worst they are federally protected whatever the hell that means because they're a threatened species okay girl me dealing with them i'm a threatened species but anyway back on topic They are a threatened species, and that goes into my first reasoning why they're the worst. They're arrogant. They're literally the most arrogant pieces of shit I've ever seen in my life. Arrogant. One, they walk so slow, okay? Why are you walking slow? You know why they're walking slow? Because they know we won't hit them. They know we're not going to run them over. So they take their merry little time walking across the road, making you wait five minutes, making you late to work. Now I gotta explain to your boss, I was late to work because there were sand hill cranes in the road. That's such a stupid excuse and they know that. And they know you're gonna get written up for being late. They know, but they don't care. You know, I've seen turtles, tortoises, crabs, squirrels, armadillos in the road they run they try their best oh my god turtles try and speed up tortoises are trying to do their thing squirrels running for the hills okay all these animals know to get out the way but guess who gets hit guess who gets run over those animals you know who doesn't the ones who stand in the freaking road and don't move they just walk the worst you know if we're talking about a threatened species and respecting animals don't you think that turtles and tortoises should be the first ones on that list because number one 
there are elders. They've been here for like 150 years. Like these guys are old, okay? They need help crossing the street. These little freaks of nature, okay? They literally live for like five days and they're done. I don't, don't quote me on that because I didn't look that one up. But I digress. And let me tell you what the worst part of this is. Okay. I'm pretty sure they know that I'm setting boundaries. Okay. I'm not letting them bully me. I'm not letting them push me around like they have the rest of you guys. They know I'm not taking it. So they've been organizing themselves. Okay, organizing themselves at the front of the street. They know when I'm leaving and they know when I'm coming. And they, it, it was one, then it was two, then it was three. And I was like, okay, three of you guys, that's a family. But y'all still need to move. Then it was five. Then it was six. Yesterday it was ten. Ten of these assholes in the road. I think they're organizing themselves because they know I don't like them and they'll come and they'll block the entire street. Like they'll spread out. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can't come or go. And they just sit there and stare at me with their beady little red eyes. Like, oh, you want to go home? Oh, you want to leave? That's crazy. Turn around. Why are we not talking about this? I can't complain about the gas being high if I can't even use my car because they're blocking the road. I can't even get out of the complex. I'm not going anywhere. There's no gas to be spent, okay? They're rooting the economy for me. Next, they're actually dangerous. Like they're actually dangerous. Like, hold on. They have beady little red eyes with a sword on their face. A sword on their, are you kidding me? A sword? And we're not like more concerned about this. They're arrogant and they have a sword on their face. They can just end your life. Pop your tires. You know, when I first moved down here, over here, my tire was flat and it wasn't flat the day before. But I know the day before I had yelled at a San Ho crane because it was in the road. And then the next day, miraculously, my tire's flat. I'm not saying, you know, correlation does not mean causation or whatever, whatever, whatever. But if I put it on the docket for evidence, your honor, I don't know. Looking a little suspicious. The little San Ho crane mafia, okay? They literally, this is how I know they're dangerous. Dangerous. They were walking back here, okay? And we live on a golf course, beautiful. When they're not here, not in my side of view, it's a beautiful view of the golf course. Fantastic, love it, love her, okay? Sometimes they'll walk behind here, you know, obviously slow, looking through the windows with their, you know what I'm gonna say, beady red eyes, beady red eyes. They'll walk over here, walk back and forth. And my mom had told me one day, the dog, the, um, the neighbor's dog, Marco, he was protecting his house. He saw these, these heathens, these venomous, vicious, vile heathens out in his backyard where his flowers are, where his plants are, and he was barking as he should. He should bark. This is a serious issue. He's protecting his home. We're in Florida. Stand your ground, Marco. I stick with you, okay? And you know what these things do? These just mackerel medicines do? They stab through with their long sword knife thingies, okay, they stab through the screen. And you know what, you know what probably happened? 
They weren't like, oh, let me protect my dog who's protecting us. You know what they probably did? They said, bad Marco, get inside. Bad, leave him alone. No, good boy Marco, you were doing what you need to do because you know what the truth is. You know what's going on. I should have wore, I should have wore a tin hat. I should have wore a tin hat. You know what? Let me go get a tin hat because this is a conspiracy theory. Why is the government protecting them? And we're back. Okay. This is a conspiracy. Because why are they Oh, I see them right now. Why are we protecting them? Lastly, everyone's talking about mental health and how mental health is so important, but these things are literally ruining mental health, okay? Exhibit A, in the peak hours of the morning, the sun isn't even awake yet. The sun's alarm hasn't went off. The brightness on the sun's iPhone has not been turned up. Bedtime do not disturb mode is on, okay? These assholes are outside. Talk about <laughs> If I were to do that at five in the morning, you know who's going to prison? Me. You know who is it? Them. And then they up the ante. You're walking your dog having a fantastic day you know get your little earphones in listening to beyonce you know but you're not because as soon as that little chorus hits you know you're feeling like you're that girl exactly red exactly they scream at you why are you screaming at me why are you screaming at me Y'all being real bold. Why are you screaming at me? And you know what I do? I walk do 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 with my dog over to them and they start backing up. But okay, so you're backing up. Hold on. I just realized something. You're backing up when I have my dog with me, but you're not gonna move for your car. Because they know that us humans know that we're not gonna hit them, but they know that. A dog doesn't know not to mess with them. I wonder who gave them that information. Big Pharma? Yeah. Open your eyes. Okay. Open your eyes. This is a serious issue. So I'm proposing a solution. Okay. A, a um, remedy, if you will, to the sickness plaguing um, our country and our lives at this moment. So I want to build a Sand Hill Crane sanctuary. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's a sanctuary, okay? Sand Hill Crane sanctuary. And we take all the Sand Hill Cranes since they're threatened, okay? Take them all together. You know, maybe put it up in the, the like, uh, where they be, in the Everglades, you know, put up some fake, you know, screens so they can stab through them, you know, on their off time since they like doing that. Maybe some microphones for them to scream into. And we gather them all, you know, we're, we're going to gather the, um, you know, all five subspecies. So it's a family reunion. Okay, family reunion, we gather them all together. And since they're threatened or whatever, we take care of them. Now we're making jobs for the people because people have to run the sanctuary. You know what I mean? We're preserving wildlife. And then one day, you know, I buy a bunch of candles from Bath and Body Works um, because I just love good smelling things. And I, by accident, drop all of them while they're lit onto a carpet that's filled with gasoline that trails back into the sanctuary where the sandhill cranes are. And oh my God, it burns down. No, no more sandhill cranes. Oh no.
and then our problem solved. Yep, that's it. So <laughs> thank you for watching my video. If you stayed this long, um, comment like the bird emoji, the um, the duck emoji. You know, I know it's I guess yeah, the duck emoji. Comment the duck emoji if you stayed this long. Also, leave a like, comment um, your thoughts on Sand Hill Cranes. Um, this is a open conversation, but. If you're on the side of the Sand Hill Cranes, you're incorrect. You can be openly incorrect, but I will let you know you're incorrect because they're hell. Um, and share because we need to spread this conversation. Okay, this is a serious conversation that needs to be shared amongst people, and we need to get this dialogue going. Okay, so share this, share this video, and um, yeah. Also, before I go, before I go, eh. While I was researching this, um, a whole other solution popped up. We can actually just run them over with our cars because you won't get fined or anything if you do. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.